Hello, welcome to part 2 of 500 Physiotherapy MCQ series. We have given the explanation to each and every question in the description box and detailed explanation in the telegram. Do check it for further learning. Now let's do not waste much time. Let's move to our question number 21. In a cross-section view of spinal cord, there is a butterfly-shaped stretcher. What would be the posterior grey horn of this stretcher primarily consists of? Option A, the axon of the motor neurons. Option B, the cell bodies of the interneurons. Option C, the cell bodies of the motor neurons. Option B, the cell bodies of the sensory neuron. And the answer is... Option D, the cell bodies of the sensory neurons. Now let's move to question number 22. All the following muscles are grouped together as a muscle of mastication except Option A, buccinator, option B, masseter, option C, temporalis, option D, pterygoids. And the answer is Option A, buccinator. Now let's move to question number 23. The cells belonging to the following type of epithelium are provided with extra reserve cell membrane. Option A, transitional, option B, stratified squamous, Option C, stratified cuboidal. Option D, stratified scolaminar. And the answer is Option A, transitional. Now let's move to question number 24. The cell junction allowing the exchange of cytoplasmic between two cells are called Option A, gap junctions. Option B, tight junction. Option C, anchoring junctions. Option D, focal junctions. And the answer is Option A, gap junctions. Now let's move to question number 25. Carpal tunnel syndrome is associated with all except Option A, deputrans contracture. Option B, myoxedema. Option C, idiopathic. Option D, rheumatoid arthritis. And the answer is Option A, deputrans contracture. Now let's move to question number 26. Which of the following is not a feature of rheumatoid arthritis? Option A. Plantar formation in a joint. Option B. Osteosclerotic osteoclastic activity underlying the bone. Option C. Erosion of the cartilage. Option D. Osteophyte. And the answer is... Option D. Osteophyte. Now let's move to question number 27. Bedsore is an example of... Option D, typical ulcer. Option B, tropic ulcer. Option C, venous ulcer. Option D, post thrombotic ulcer. And the answer is Option B, tropic ulcer. Now let's move to question number 28. Which of the following would be found immediately inferior to the left cardinal ligament or lateral cervical ligament? Option A, ovarian neurovascular bundle. Option B, uterine tube. Option C, round ligament of the uterus. Option D, ureter. And the answer is... Option D, ureter. Now let's move to question number 29. Joint at the knee is which type of joint? Option A, syntharthrosis. Option B, symphysis. Option C, amphiarthrosis. Option D, diarthrosis. And the answer is... Option D, diarthrosis. Now let's move to question number 30. Which statement best describes the process of glycogenesis? Option A, the digestion of the glycogen in the diet. Option B, the conversion of fat into glycogen in the muscle tissue. Option C, the conversion of glucose into glycogen in the liver. Option D, the conversion of glycogen into the glucose in the muscle tissue. And the answer is... Option C, the conversion of glucose into glycogen in the liver. Now let's move to question number 31. Spur sign is seen in Option A, supracondylar fracture of the humerus. Option B, radial head fracture. Option C, acetabulum fracture of the pelvis. Option D, talus fracture. And the answer is Option C, acetabulum fracture of the pelvis. Now let's move to question number 32. SD curve can option A distinguish between the innervation and de innervation. Option B distinguish between innervated and de innervated but cannot quantify the state of innervation. Option C distinguish innervated and de innervated and quantify the state of innervation. Option D none. And the answer is 
option C distinguish innovated and de-innovated and quantify the state of innovation. Now let's move to question number 33. Which is the function of the esophagus in the digestion? Option A, it is a state of mechanical digestion. Option B, it transfers food from mouth to the stomach. Option C, the esophagus secretes amylase to begin carbohydrate digestion. Option D, the esophagus secretes hydrochloric acid. And the answer is... Option B, it transfers food from mouth to the stomach. Now let's move to question number 34. Inflammation of the sheet of the dash tendon within the sheet is referred to as decuterans disease. Option A. Flexor pollicis longus and flexor pollicis brevis. Option B. Extensor radialis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Option C. Adductor pollicis longus and adductor pollicis brevis. Option D. Abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. And the answer is... Option D. Abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Now let's move to question number 35. From where an antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin is released? Option A. Anterior pituitary. Option B. Posterior pituitary. Option C. Adrenal cortex. Option D. Adrenal medulla. And the answer is... Option B. The posterior pituitary. Now let's move to question number 36. Liver is the largest gland in the body weighing about. Option A, 5 gram in adults. Option B, 50 gram in adults. Option C, 500 grams in adult. Option D, 1500 grams in adult. And the answer is... Option D, 1500 grams in adult. Let's move to question number 37. Which liver cells produce bile? Option A, Cooper cells. Option B, sinusoids. Option C, hepatocytes. Option D, the angini. And the answer is... Option C, hepatocytes. Now let's move to question number 38. A 70 year old lady got a compression fracture of the L1 vertebra. There is no neurological deficit to this patient. What advice will you give for this patient? Option A, vitamin D supplementation. Option B, do MRI scan. Option C, go for a screw fixation of the L1 vertebra. Option D, to take dexamethasone. And the answer is... Option A, Vitamin D Supplementation. Now let's move to question number 39. External fixation is used for DASH. Option A, Fracture with severe soft tissue injury involving skin and the blood vessel. Option B, Unstable Fracture. Option C, Pathological Fracture. Option D, Multiple Fracture. And the answer is... Option A, Fracture with severe soft tissue injury involving skin and the blood vessels. Now let's move to question number 40. What is the function of the thalamus? Option A. Connects to cerebral hemisphere. Option B. Connects cerebellum to the midbrain. Option C. Connect areas within the same hemisphere. Option D. It is a relay center. And the answer is... Option D. It is a relay center. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. I think today you have learned something valuable. See you in the next section. That's part 3. And thank you. Bye-bye.